With so many libraries, frameworks and new technologies coming up in the world of web development, it's easy to get confused regarding which ones to pick and work with. Although the tech industry keeps changing every now and then, there are 7 specific technologies I wanna talk about in this video that are not only high paying but also heavily in demand in the JavaScript web dev ecosystem. The first one of course is the JavaScript programming language. JavaScript is the backbone of web development. It runs on virtually every modern web browser, making it a fundamental technology for front-end development. But it also extends beyond front-end development. JavaScript can also be used on the server side as well. This has led to the rise of full-stack JavaScript development, where developers can work on both the client and server sides of web applications. Due to this, the demand for full-stack JavaScript developers has increased, contributing to higher salaries. The dominance of JavaScript in tech industry was so intense that it gave rise to many amazing frameworks and libraries that supercharged the way to use JavaScript, making it more in demand. And now many of these frameworks can be used to create websites, desktop apps, and even mobile applications. And since JavaScript lies at the core of all these front-end and back-end JS frameworks, it's important to understand the core JavaScript programming language in depth first. In second, we have Next.js. Next.js is incredibly popular at the moment and it's only getting better. Next.js uses React to build user interfaces and then provides additional structure, features and optimizations for your application. So before using Next.js, make sure to learn React. With the latest updates in Next.js such as server and client components, being able to create APIs in Next.js itself, server actions, optimized rendering patterns, flexible directory based routing making routing extremely easy, advanced SEO, Next.js has really come a long way and become a framework of choice for many developers. It basically allows you to do both backend and frontend in one framework with supercharged capabilities in an efficient manner. Many companies that use React might migrate to Next.js and therefore this tech stack would become high in demand. And many companies that would have used React to build an application before would instead use Next.js moving forward. So add this on your list as well. For number 3, we have TypeScript. Well, if you want to get higher pay, then TypeScript is a must. Most high paying companies using JavaScript would preferably have a requirement for TypeScript as well. At least that's how a lot of the companies are mentioning in their job requirements. But why is TypeScript so important? Well, TypeScript has a lot of benefits, but a very important benefit is that TypeScript introduces static typing, which allows developers to catch certain types of errors at compile time rather than run time. By explicitly declaring types and performing static analysis, TypeScript can identify type-related errors such as assigning incompatible values to variables or passing incorrect arguments to functions before the code is even executed. This early detection of errors helps prevent issues during runtime and improves code readability. While JavaScript does catch some errors during development, TypeScript static typing adds an additional layer of error checking and provides developers with more confidence in their code, leading to improved code quality and reduced runtime errors. Now for number 4, there's TRPC. Now this wouldn't be a very necessary requirement, but out of the many technologies coming out, TRPC most certainly is something to keep an eye on. TRPC is a tool that provides type safety between your front and backends. Hence it makes it really easy to build scalable and robust backends quickly for your Next.js and Node apps. It allows sharing of types between the client and server and just imports the types and not the actual server code, so none of the server code is exposed in the frontend. With end-to-end -end type safety, you're able to catch errors between your frontend and backend at compile and build time, which is absolutely amazing. So if you were to change the type of a required property being sent in the API from the backend, then the frontend would also throw errors suggesting that there's been a type change for that particular property in the backend, allowing the developer to understand the error and just maintain type safety between the frontend and backend. Definitely check out TRPC, it has a lot of potential and is causing a lot of buzz in the industry. In number 5, we have the MERN stack. The MERN stack has been popular since a while and due to many existing companies using it in their code base extensively, it's here to stay. There's always a high demand for MERN stack in the roles and responsibilities of the job requirements section in many different companies. MERN stack allows developers to use JavaScript throughout the entire web application stack, from the front end to back end. This eliminates the need to learn multiple languages and promotes code reuse, making development more efficient and streamlined. Its combination of JavaScript throughout the stack, scalability, performance, React for UI development, 
JSON based data management, developer productivity, market demand, and community support contribute to its popularity and high paying nature in the tech industry. In number 6, there's version control systems. Well, you need to learn Git and GitHub for sure. And you can proceed to learn other version control systems like GitLab or Bitbucket if necessary. But learning version control is a must because it allows multiple developers to work on the same code base simultaneously from anywhere. It enables seamless collaboration by providing a centralized repository where changes can be tracked, merged, and managed. Developers can work on different branches, isolate their changes, and merge them back into the main code base ensuring a smooth and organized workflow. Version control also plays a crucial role in the continuous integration and deployment process or CICD. Through CICD, developers can automatically trigger builds, run tests, and deploy changes to staging or production environments. This ensures that changes are properly validated and deployed in a controlled and automated manner. Now the last one, in number 7, there's Web3. Well, Web3 literally boasts for the vision of a new, better internet. And if there's a good chance that internet in the future could be built on Web3, then of course it's an important paradigm to be aware of. And there's also the fact that there aren't many Web3 developers in the industry. And as for the ones that are there, a lot of them are highly paid. Web3 brings decentralization to the web, giving users more control over their data and transactions. It uses blockchain technology and smart contracts to ensure transparency, security, and trust in online interactions. Apart from that, it also brings up a new economic model, one where cryptocurrencies are heavily used basically having the potential to shape the entire financial sector. Some important topics to get started with Web3 would be understanding what the blockchain is, what are smart contracts and how to write them, what are transactions, and also some knowledge of working with the Ethereum development ecosystem. So these were 7 high paying technologies that are quite popular and are here to stay for a good period of time over the coming years. So what are you waiting for? Get up and grind. If you have any other popular technology in the JavaScript web dev ecosystem in mind, then do make sure to comment about it. If you found the video insightful, then don't forget to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more.